Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a super exciting video. We're going to be covering multiple topics. The first one is though, TSM have officially signed Vinny, Zexro's duo partner, which we have been predicting and saying this would happen. We'll take a look at the official announcement and we'll talk about whether or not this is going to be the best duo TSM has ever had on their roster. And then moving on to the second topic, season eight is here guys, but guess what? It's a disastrous change to the map that is really going to impact Team Liquid moving into this week's tournament, ESL Katowice. Basically, Epic Games added a volcano into the map and they removed containers, which is Team Liquid's go-to drop spot when it comes to tournaments. So we will be covering their reactions and how this will impact them going into ESL Katowice in the second topic. I'll be breaking down all this news and information for you guys in this video. If you do enjoy staying updated on all professional Fortnite news and drama, be sure to subscribe to my channel and slap a like on this video. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll start off with the announcement coming out from TSM. They tweeted this out. It's confirmed. Please welcome Vinny to the TSM Fortnite team. And then they left a link down here with more information. Let's go ahead and check that out. When we signed Zexro in December, many wondered if his duo partner Vinny would be coming on board as well. We are very pleased to confirm that as of today, Vinny will be joining us as an official member of TSM Fortnite. For those unfamiliar with his background, Vinny is a top player in Fortnite competitive scene. In his very first major tournament at TwitchCon, he took third place alongside Zexro. Since then, he has played both in the Winter Royale and Secret Skirmish, placing 14th and 12th, respectively, and earning himself a respectable amount of prize money. We are very fortunate to have another amazingly talented player joining our team. Additionally, it makes us very glad that we had the opportunity to unite Vinny and Zexro, allowing them to compete together under the same banner. We wish him a big welcome to TSM, and we look forward to working with him in the foreseeable future. Then Vinny said this down below. It has always been a dream of mine to join one of the best organizations in the gaming industry. I've always seen TSM do great things in every game, such as League of Legends, PUBG, etc. I can't wait to represent TSM in the upcoming tourneys and give it my all. So there it is, guys. Vinny has officially joined Zexro in TSM, and it seems like they are going to make their debut together on TSM at ESL Katowice, which starts off tomorrow, and I'm super hyped about that. By the way, if you guys want me to cover this tournament fully, all the placements and everything, be sure to leave a comment down below and upvote them so I know you want to see that. Also, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about these two joining each other. And now, let's go ahead and move on to the second topic, which does have to do with Team Liquid and the Season 8 map changes because it hit them hard and at one of the worst times possible. So as we can see here, this is the new Season 8 map and over there on the top right quadrant, there is now a volcano and there is no longer the containers drop, which is where the Team Liquid members love to drop in professional tournaments. Poach, Chap, 72 Hours, and Vivid, they love containers. And this definitely ruins a lot of the preparation for Poach, Chap, and 72 Hours, and Vivid going into this tournament because this is going to screw up their rotations. Think about it this way. Pretend you land at one specific spot every single game for like six months professionally. For example, let's just say Pleasant Park. You land there every single game. Then you would make your rotations early game based off of the first zone wherever you have to move to. If you have to rotate south, north, east, west, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter because you have planned rotations for every single one of these spots because you're so used to landing right there at Pleasant Park. You'll know where to loot, you'll know where to farm mats, you'll know pretty much everything, you'll have it memorized. But now, Team Liquid, all of that preparation for the past six, seven months, however long they've been landing there, is completely gone and they have to find a new spot and new rotations and this will really hurt them mid-game. And I know a lot of people will say, oh, just adapt. This is what you have to do. I mean, yeah, it is what you have to do because it's the decisions that Epic Games decided to make, but it's so unfortunate. And this is like one of the worst things that could happen to a pro team or pro player. You literally spent the last six months landing there almost every single game when it comes to a tournament. So all of your professional tournament experience just goes out the window when it comes to early rotations and early looting. And this really sucks. It's gonna hurt them because it's going to make these players less comfortable. It's going to make them more nervous and anxious because they're kind of like doing things they're not used to. I just really am a firm believer that Epic Games needs to stop making massive changes to the game right before major events. Like, 
is really hurting the players. And as a viewer, it also sucks because now I know that Team Liquid, if they lose or have a bad performance, it might be because of this change that Epic made that just completely screwed them over. And now we'll go ahead and take a look at the reactions from the Team Liquid players. Starting off with Poach, he first tweeted this out. Where is containers? I don't think this map is updated. Then he tweeted this out. I'm at a three-day $500,000 tournament and I'm ready. Oh wait, my drop spot just got removed. Welp. 72 hours said this, I flew to Poland and my drop spot got destroyed. Nice. Get me in the cannon. Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Tom. I feel bad for you, man. And then chap said, guess I'm landing volcano. YOLO. Taking it with stride, I guess. I respect it, chap. Stay focused. And honestly, that's really all these players can do at this point is stay focused and try to not let it get to them. Land at a new spot. Try to learn it as fast as you can. They're smart players. They know if they do dwell on this situation, it's only going to hurt them in the long run. So stay focused and I guess good luck to Team Liquid, man. This really sucks. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about it. Epic Games, please. Please, you could have just like delayed it a few days after ESL Katowice, but they didn't. So this is where we're at right now. Hopefully they don't do it for the World Cup. They just need to understand that these changes really do impact the performances and the outcomes of these tournaments. As I said earlier, it's very likely now that Team Liquid might not do as good as they would have done if it was on the old map or the old patch. Something I would love to see Epic Games implement into their game in esports is what a lot of other games do, which is have the pro players play on old patches. This way, everybody else in the game can still get the updates right away, we could all be playing on Season 8 right now, but the pro players, at least for this tournament, wouldn't have to deal with those random crazy changes one day before it. We could have very well seen them go play on the last patch at this tournament, and it wouldn't have been been that big of a deal. Sure, you know, you don't get to advertise the game on Season 8, the new changes and everything, but at least you get a fair competition where a bunch of players don't get screwed over by random changes. So I guess that's kind of my full take on this situation. I don't want to go in circles and keep repeating the same things, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Do you feel bad for Team Liquid? Do you think they'll still perform? Also, Vinny joining TSM, that's awesome. How good do you think TSM and Zexra will do at ESL Katowice this weekend? And let me know if you want me to cover that event. I'm done with the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you did make it this far to the end of the video, let me know down in the comments. I love you all. Subscribe and like for more content like this. I'm out of here guys. Peace.